Next week, we have huge guests every day. I go one-on-one -on -one with the hilarious Paul Rudd. Dickie catches up with his old mate, Rock and Rod Stewart. Oh, the stories. <laughs> Plus, Shania Twain is here, and we have exclusive access to the Grammys. Also, we're giving away $25,000 worth of home makeovers. Wow. See you Monday. Hello again. After 24 hours of wild weather, conditions improved around Melbourne this afternoon, but the city was still 5 degrees cooler than average, peaking at 20.7. Western suburbs reached 22 and 23, with maximums of 20 or 21 for most of the eastern suburbs, but Fernie Creek only managed to reach 15. And eastern suburbs have recorded the heaviest rain in the 24 hours to 9am. There were widespread totals of 10 to 20 millimetres, and both Cardinia and Caram recorded 26. And since then, only eastern suburbs have recorded anything substantial. Six millimetres at Sandringham, seven at Glen Waverley and Ringwood, ten at Yarra Glen and eleven at Listerfield. The system has contracted to eastern parts of the state today with a few isolated totals of 10 to 15 millimetres. But once again, daytime temperatures have been distinctly unsummer-like. It only reached the teens through much of Gippsland. Further north, Wodonga only reached 19. The highest temperature was 25 degrees through the Mallee. We'll be under dry skies tomorrow and it'll stay cooler under southerly breezes, but they'll be quite light, so it'll be a comparatively pleasant end to the weekend. But intense heat is building on the other side of the country. Severe heatwave conditions are forecast for parts of WA from Tuesday. Perth reached 37 today, so appropriate conditions for tonight's Big Bash final between the scorches and the heat. It'll stay hot there tomorrow, heading for 35, 25 degrees in Adelaide, 23 in Hobart, 27 for Canberra. Sydney is heading for a sunny top of 28 and Brisbane should reach 31. Back home, after a few early showers through the south, there'll be dry skies right across the state. It'll be sunny through the north, pushing daytime temperatures up to the mid to high 20s. But cloud will linger through the south and along with southerly breezes, that'll keep most spots to the low 20s. It'll be cool but dry around Melbourne again tonight. A low of 11 for Melton, Epping and Coldstream. 12 at Laverton and Ringwood. Then tomorrow it'll be cloudy early on but we should get some breaks of sunshine in the afternoon along with maximums of 22 and 23. So not a bad way to wrap up the weekend. Geelong is heading for 22 after an overnight low of 12. Slightly cooler for the city. It's expected to reach 21 after dipping to 14. Then Groundhog Day on Monday and Tuesday. Cloudy and 21 degrees again, but we will see an improvement on Wednesday as blue skies return along with a top of 24. The city should finally reach its February average on Thursday, 26 degrees, 27 on Friday and the same again on Saturday. So next Saturday looks much nicer than this one. And it'll stay cool tomorrow after a low of 14. The city's only expected to reach 21 with some blue sky peeking through in the afternoon. So we've got to be patient waiting for that warmer weather, Alicia. Good to know it's coming though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. And that is Nine News this Saturday. Deb Knight is next with The Current Affair. I hope you have a great evening for now. Good night.